This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. So we're in this classroom. We're looking at petrology, looking at igneous rocks. And I've got this beautiful piece of granite right here. Now, granite is a classic igneous rock. It forms a lot of the coronal crust and the bulk of the continents. It gives a great view of the visible crystals and minerals inside of it. So we can tell a lot about the composition, the formation, and the history of the area if we have a large area of granite to study, especially on the surface. We know we have uplift. Now, igneous rock forms generally from magma and lava, and obviously cooling from different speeds. Magma is going to cool very slowly, and lava is going to cool very quickly. So the igneous rocks derive from magma and lava, and we can tell a lot based on the size of minerals, obviously, and the composition and the different textures of the igneous rock. But we can divide igneous rocks into two main types. One type is called felsic, the other type is called mafic. Now, felsic in this video, looking at the different characteristics of a felsic rock in general. Now, most of these felsic rocks are classified as granitic or granite type. Now, the other types of granite like tomanite and andesite and various variations, but generally granite is the most common felsic rock. Now, felsic rock, by definition, uh, the word comes from a split of uh, feldspar and silica. Now, the F-E-L is the feldspar. Feldspar is a German word for basically ground minerals. So it's a variation of minerals based on both calcium and sodium uh, proportions based on the Bowen's reaction series. So feldspar is one, and obviously silica is the other, the S-I-C-I-S-I-C. And silica is silicon dioxide, it's SiO2, and it's silicon oxygen. Um, it's the most abundant mineral in the crust, uh, mostly quartz is what we know it by. And obviously silicon and oxygen are the most abundant elements in the crust. So when you combine them, you get uh, silica, and when you add the feldspar, we get felsic rocks. So this is one type of igneous rocks. Now, a lot of them do form through magma, so they are plutonic in nature. They form deep underground from cooling magma over a long period of time. So you do get these large crystals and mineral formations uh, in this matrix. You can see the minerals visibly without a microscope. So a felsic rock is any rock that is above 69% silica. And there are variations up to about 77% silica, and this creates a lighter in color igneous rock. It also is not as dense as mafic, and it has a lot of coloration and changes. Now you can have different minerals and elements in the granite which would change its color, uh, but the main five minerals are going to, or main three minerals in uh, granite or the felsic rocks are going to be mica, which is the dark black, uh, dots you see right here, and you also have some gray and uh, variations of grays and yellows. That's the feldspar, and the white or the crystal is going to be the quartz, the silicon dioxide. So you have the three main components, and then the other ones are going to add in like peroxine um, or calcium and sodium or potassium into the mix that will give it its color. And you might get, let's say, you get Pikes Peak in Colorado. The granite is red because of the iron that's inside the, the granite, which is a beautiful color. So you get these different changes, and uh, you get the formation of, the, of this felsic rock towards the upper mantle and the crust lithosphere towards the surface because of the addition of quartz and silicon oxygen into the composition. So these, according to the Bowen's reaction series, are going to crystallize at colder temperatures, meaning the magma is higher to the surface compared to deep down where it's warmer and hotter, but the higher or the closer to the surface you go as magma rises, either deer appear or through uplift or through uh, some sort of plume or rising of magma through subduction, you get the addition of uh, what's called fractional uh, crystallization, where the heavy elements will drop to the bottom and the lighter elements like quartz, uh, minerals, sorry, and um, the, the mica and some of the feldspars, they're going to sit at the top and they're going to form the more felsic 
magma and then form felsic rocks just like granite.